Remote management of PLCs is a mission possible. A lot of people are under the impression that reaching serial devices remotely is quite difficult and expensive. Now, we would like to challenge this misconception by offering a secure and affordable method of reaching your RS-232 or RS-485 devices from anywhere over the internet. The benefits of remote PLC management are many, from saved finances and time, to increased efficiency, minimized downtime, improved data collection, and safe accessibility. Besides, using a dual SIM 4G industrial router ensures a secure continuous connection with backup and auto failover. There are different types of PLCs in the industry. Some of them come with web UI or CLI support, while others use specialized software for completing various tasks. In this video, we will show you how to access PLC using RS-232 communication over IP. As you know, PLC devices are usually accessed by physically connecting to them. However, it is also possible to reach PLCs remotely using a 4G cellular router. In this demonstration, we will use Teltonica Network's RUT 955. This can be achieved in two ways. The first method to reach your PLC remotely is via public IP, if it is available. However, this method has some downsides, including additional costs and security risks. Hence, you may choose another, safer option that works even when there is no public IP. It includes using a VPN service. Now, for this task, we will recommend choosing RMS VPN. Before we begin, let's have a look at this simple topology. As you may notice, RUT955 supports serial interfaces. Since our remote router does not have a public IP, we will use our cloud management platform RMS to establish a secure VPN connection, allowing to reach the PLC remotely. To set up an RMS VPN, first, let's connect to RMS. Next, select RMS hubs on the left sidebar in the RMS VPN section. Click Add New VPN Hub. Enter the name of the hub, optionally set the description and tags. Then, open the newly created hub. In the general window, you will find the main info about the hub. Click on the Add Client button and then select an RMS user from the list. The user will appear in the client's list. Repeat the step to add the device. The selected device will appear in the client's list. Next, go to the Routes tab. Click the Add Route button to set up a new route. Next, restart the hub to implement changes. Configuration is complete. VPN configuration file is in the Clients tab. In the Actions column, click the Download icon. Open VPN Connect software and import this open VPN file. Click Connect. And that's it! Now that RMS VPN has been configured and we have successfully connected, we can set up communication in over IP mode. We'll need to apply this configuration for the router connected to a serial device. First, connect the router's web UI, go to Services, RS-232. Enable RS-232. Configure serial port so that router can communicate with a PLC. Serial type must be set to over IP mode. Protocol must be set to TCP. Mode, Server, and then use any port. After finishing the serial port configuration, add interfaces through which routers will be communicating. You can add a specific IP address or enter any, all zeros, to allow all connections to come through the correct port. Create a virtual COM port in your PC using any software you would like. You can see an example here. And then enter router IP address and port configured in over IP configuration. If you follow the configuration steps correctly, the end devices should be able to communicate with one another. We hope that you find this information useful and that following these steps helped you successfully establish remote access to a PLC. Let us know how it all went in the comments and feel free to ask any questions about the process. Hit like and subscribe if you liked our videos and see you in the next one soon.